Hierarchy Panels. Next to the Modify panel, here is the Hierarchy panel. You'll find this panel useful once you've set up hierarchies of objects, linked objects, or linked bone systems. You can set their behaviors in relation to each other and to the scene using the three tabs. Pivot. The first tab is the Pivot tab. Adjust the pivot points of objects, including how the Move, Rotate, Scale tools affect them, such as setting them to affect only the pivot points, affect the object only, or affect the entire hierarchy, which will change the results of using those tools. You can also set the alignment in relation to each other and the world, or change whether or not changes made to a parent object affect the object's linked children. Let's see how it will work. Here, as you can see, I have kept two objects which are linked. This is child, and this is parent. Now let's try all the options in Move, Rotate, Scale and see the changes. The first option is Affect Only the Pivot Points. Let's select this and move the objects. See? Only the pivot points are moving. The second option is Affect Object Only. Select Object and move it. See? It's affecting the object only. And the third option in this set is Affect the Entire Hierarchy. Again, select any object and try to move it. Here, the whole object's hierarchy is affected. Here, in Alignment, you can align Pivot or Object. If Affect Only the Pivot Points is selected in Move, Rotate, Scale, you can align a pivot point as Center to Object, Align to Object, Align to World. In the same way, if Affect Object Only is selected, you can align objects as Center to Pivot, Align to Pivot, Align to World. IK. Here you can control your IK Inverse Kinematics settings. IK is an animation method that can control the behavior of an entire chain of objects at once, as though they are truly attached and affected by each other's forces. For example, if you pull on a human wrist, the wrist alone will not move, it will pull the forearm with it, which in turn will draw the upper arm, then the shoulder, then the body behind. We'll talk more about this in detail in a separate lesson on IK. Link Info This subset is very simple. It lets you either lock or unlock movement, rotation, or scaling on an axis, and determine on which axes motion, rotation, or scaling is inherited. All these topics we will discuss in detail in advanced sessions.